Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is my Kingdom Hearts 2 Critical Difficulty video walkthrough. This is still Halloween Town, and we're going to be taking on Oogie Boogie in a moment. And this is pretty tricky, this fight coming up. I remember Proud Mode on the original Kingdom Hearts 2. This fight was a joke. I had a really good pattern for it, and then when I tried it here, it just kind of didn't work so well. But before the boss starts, I want to just explain some quick things. I will be covering the data fights for this game, but I'll be covering them at a later date, folks. I need to make the walkthroughs before I can do all the side stuff, but they will be getting covered. Depending on how well received all the Kingdom Hearts footage is, this guide and the Birth by Sleep ones will depend on whether or not I do future projects for them. At this moment in time, the views are okay, but they're definitely dwindling. If they continue to dwindle, you'll probably not see anything else. You'll see these because I want to support them because I love these games, but you will not see any subsequent playthroughs. However, if you know you spread the word or you have friends and you all get together and the, the views start going up for them, then I'll look into doing level 1 playthroughs or, or walkthroughs for this game and for Birth by Sleep. But as it stands, guys, I can't really prioritise doing videos for a game once I've already covered it that's not performing. And in an ideal world, each of these videos would be getting a thousand views and I wouldn't give a single fuck. I'd just be straight up and down, having fun, doing as much as I can. But there's a lot of stuff I could be covering which is getting more views than this. And uh, I, I hate to talk like the views are the only thing that count because it's not true. But they're a large majority of, of what drives certain projects on the channel. And at this moment in time, Splinter Cell is outperforming these games, but I've chosen to cover these and focus on these because they're newer. That's the only reason. If I was going on views alone, I probably wouldn't have continued to make this. I would have finished off the Splinter Cell stuff, and then I would have done this in the slow months. But, as I've mentioned, no, I did it the way I have, and that's the way it is. So, to get Boogie down, you have to knock the these crazy boxes into his glass cabin and it'll put him onto your level. From there, you want to use either Drive or Limit Form to do damage to him. You want to do whatever does the most damage the quickest because you're not going to have a large window to beat him up and the longer this fight goes, the harder it gets. So, I'm just going to do standard combos and I'm going to miss because he's bouncing everywhere which is a little frustrating, but what can we do? Now he's invincible, now he's going to run away and now things are going to get a little trickier. So. The escalator things start moving quickly, and then he's going to start hammering with his fist and dropping different boxes. So get immediately back on it, hitting him with the boxes. At this point, he's going to start moving between the conveyors, and you can move as well. And you'll notice that they change colour, and depending on what colour they are will depend on which conveyor you go to when you go through them. You control this by reaction commands. When you've played this fight a few times, you'll understand how it functions if you're finding it a little confusing. Those bags there contain enemies. What I like to do is I like to go on the conveyors where Boogie isn't, lure out the enemies, and then transfer back to the escalator thing where he is. So what is this, conveyor belt? You know what I mean. And then you can focus on hitting him with the boxes. And hopefully, if you're quick enough, you'll not get hit too much by the bullshit. But there's a lot of bullshit here, so be careful. It looks like only Goofy's alive, which is not the best, but we can we can manage. So a couple more hits and he should come down. I do like his voice actor. So I try I'm trying here to, to knock a few last ones in, there we go. And then from this point onwards, my lock on kinda of betrays me as I try and get a better one there and it doesn't really work. So I tried to do limit form just then, but Donald was dead. So heads up play on my part was weak. So instead, do a few combos. He doesn't have too much life left, but it is getting incrementally tougher every time he goes back up. So keep jumping to survive that. And then on this point, he's going to start attacking with lightning on these conveyors. So knock them back into him, dodge the lightning, and rinse and repeat. Just bear in mind, if you get hit by any of the stuff that's happening here, it does a lot of damage. And the fight begins, of course, from the beginning, so it's a little bit more progress than the standard boss fight. Also, if you're not careful, that can happen, where you get too concerned with knocking them back and you get far too close to those spikes. 
But here comes the crazy... I forget the names of them. They all have musical names, though. But this is be a section where the dodge roll would be fantastic if I had it, but I don't. Which is very sad. But what can you do? You just deal with it and, and hopefully win. But here comes the lightning. The lightning is generally placed fairly. Every so often there's one that's a little awkward to get past, but for the most you shouldn't have any trouble with that. The fist is only awkward when you miss tiny jumps. Of course your team are going to do terrible because they're just idiots really. So he moves over to the left, we get back on his tail. I don't think you can attack him in any other way here, I think you have to hit the boxes back. Of course if there is a strategy that involves hitting him in another means, feel free to share it. But the hammer comes down, another box. Goofy's having fun over there. And he's down, and fingers crossed, if I lock onto the right guy, goddamn game. Ah, I went into dry form to try and finish him. I don't think I will though, look at the lag, I should have paused, I should have paused buffer, I'm wasting time there. Oh, this is going terribly, kill him, kill him, hoo hoo hoo, there you go. I wish you could control the, the floatiness of some of the enemies sometimes. Maybe just more play, more experience, and you'll understand how it works a little better, but thank you very much for watching, and you take care now.